ChatGPT Atlas, a browser with ChatGPT built-in, released by OpenAI. Ask any question based on the page you visit like this, and it knows the context. It can assist to compose your email directly from your Gmail. You ask it to open the list of tabs which you opened last week and it can open it for you without you doing anything. If you want to shop and it can automatically choose the right items using the cursor feature. So you are not moving the cursor, AI is moving the cursor and adding relevant items, giving you the finalized cart. And this is that browser you can download for Mac OS now. And I'm going to show you all the list of features, how this differs from Google Chrome, the list of extensions, browser history, incognito mode, and we are going to try one by one. Let's get started. Once after you download and install, this is how it looks like. You can log in right from the top corner and then you got different options such as bookmarks, downloads, extensions, passwords and settings. Same like Google Chrome. I'm going to settings, going to change the mode to a dark mode for you to clearly see. You can log in at the bottom here. All other options similar to Google Chrome. And let's start with the first basic search. So in the center, I'm going to say HTTPS dot mer.vin so it automatically loads my website pressing come on t to open a new tab i can even search saying latest ai news and it's going through various websites and giving me a summary the same chat gpt feature but at the top you got multiple options here one is the normal search that's the default thing which you receive when you use google chrome then you got images then videos and news also this shows that it could be from google all these search results, except the first home page. Next, opening a new tab. So here I've got different options. Agent mode, find movies and shows I recently viewed. So this will automatically scan your recent browsing and open the relevant tabs. This is the thing which I liked. Instead of finding movies, I'm going to say, find AI news I viewed from browsing history and surface it. Clicking send. Sometime I get a message like this. The message you submitted was too long. Please edit it and resubmit. That could be because I visited loads of site in regards to AI news. Let's try to filter this down. Find open AI news I viewed from browsing history and surface it. Clicking send. So here are the pages I viewed in regards to open AI's latest news. So I can click the button here and it automatically slides down and the tab is open. Similarly, I'm going to click the next button here and you can see the transition from one page to another. So it's all done directly from the chat interface, which you can see on the right hand side. Furthermore, I can even ask question about this news article. So here you can see that is fed as a context. So I can just say, give me key news discussed here. And here's the response. Here's a concise summary, key points, massive revenue growth, huge spending plans, five year strategy, and much more. Now going to new tab, and I'm going to go to this URL. That's my GitHub profile. And you can see the profile here about me and also the loads of contribution which I made in the past year and previous years. So based on this, I want to ask a few questions. So I can click the Ask Chat GPT icon at the top. So clicking on that. So I can just say total contributions I made in the last 12 months. Totally, you made 3000 plus contributions in the last 12 months on GitHub. Now I want a chart. So I'm going to say, give me a chart month on month, my total contributions each month. Clicking send and it's taking my contributions. I'm going to say verify again the contributions and it verified my contributions. And would you like me to generate a visual monthly chart? I'm going to say yes. So this is all been done within the browser. So I'm not going out from my browser. Automatically, it takes care of all the calculations. And here's the chart. For some reason, I'm not able to open this, but instead, so there's the option at the top right hand corner, open chat menu. So I can click that and just say open chat in a tab that automatically opened this tab for me. And here you got the contributions month on month, the chart. And that is really nice. Here is another GitHub issue. And I ask it to review and it automatically reviewed the whole issue and gave me the final verdict approved for merge. Next, I'm inside my Gmail. And here's the email to Sam Altman. So I'm just going to select this. And here you can see a small icon. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to describe your change. Make it more detailed and add key points after searching. 
I'm clicking send. Now it's writing for me. And here's a more detailed version. He's thinking and I can click update and that will update my email. So here you can see it's about Atlas browser. That's what we are reviewing. And it automatically searched the website, took all the features such as integrated assistant, context aware workflows, agent mode, browser memories, privacy control, new web paradigm. So all the key features, it searched the internet and wrote this email just with one prompt. And that is also within your browser. That is really nice. So wherever you've got the text, you can select and ask whatever changes you want to make. Make it professional. And here it is. Next, I want to show you about the agent mode. So clicking on that. So the key thing I like that it can automatically choose the items for shopping. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT choosing the agent mode, get required items for my holiday in Europe. So starting to gather a list of requirements. Here you can see the mouse hair. Now it's going and searching at the top. You can see the cursor here. So here I've got two options. One is take control or stop it. So for now I'm going to leave as it is. It's going to add this travel adapter, which is a requirement. Again, it's going to search for a power bank. That is also a required thing when you go for travel. And it added that to the basket, as you can see here. Now it's inside my cart, totally four items. It is also deleting the things which are not required or if it's a duplicate. And finally, we've got two items that key items. The third is travel pillow. It's going through the listing and choosing the best based on the reviews. And finally, we've got three different items here. Now we can control and we can proceed to check out to get it delivered. You can see how easy it is to make AI work for us in our browsers. So I really like this agent mode. One more thing I want to show you in regards to agent mode. So here is the Excel sheet and I've got the list of vendors, items, the cost and the payment type. Now, finally, I want to categorize these things. So up until now, you need to manually categorize all these items, but now we have AI. So what we are going to do is we are going to use agent mode. So clicking on agent mode. So I'm going to say categorize the ones which are empty. And now you can see it took over the control, starting to identify and categorize empty items. So we got these all empty items here. So these all need to be filled. Let's see what's going to happen. And now it got categorized as you can see here, office supplies, travel, electronics, books, groceries, and other really powerful makes your Excel work very easy. I can even ask it to add formulas here to calculate the total, calculate the total add formula. It did add the formula as you can see here, expense classification and totaling all these things, but it added to the wrong cell and I need to further request to revert the change and put that in the right cell. So a slight guidance is required. And also I noticed that some of the category are missing. That's because it can view only the visible area. So if you want to view the whole page, you need to tell that in the prompt to scroll down the page and fill all the rows. But overall, this is a good step forward to automate your repetitive task. Finally, I want to show you a few settings here. So the extension work as before. You can download and install any Chrome extension and it should automatically work here. Passwords, same as before. Downloads, bookmarks, same as before. It got incognito mode. That also doesn't save any history. Even it doesn't link to your chat GPT account. Finally, for developers. So if you're a developer, you want to inspect a page, right click and inspect and a separate window appears here and you got the console sources network lighthouse to analyze page same as Google Chrome. That's all for now. Do download and test it and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like ChatGPT Atlas, I also create another video about perplexity comment. It is a competitor for this browser. So I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.